I'm Elizabeth Hank. I'm a jeweler. I make jewelry out of sterling silver and sometimes gold accent. I was always in, interested in art and all my friends in high school were like, oh, you're going to be an artist, I know. And I'm like, didn't, um, I wanted to do to defy them. So I was like, I am not. But I never really found what I really liked until I tried a jewelry class. And it was, I had done sculpture, painting, all printmaking, everything. But I took a jewelry class after I was a college dropout, after years, in 1993. And five day class, the first day, I was like, that's it. Jewelry, that's it. People usually describe my jewelry as, they like it because it's contemporary, it, but it's simple. So it, that's good because it can be timeless. When something is simplified, it doesn't really get stuck in a certain time frame. I feel like my first love in art is metal. And then I started making rubber jewelry. And so that's my second love is rubber. And I did nothing but rubber for many, many years. And then I came back to metal. Since I've been making metal jewelry for a living, the style has completely changed, say at least four times. One of the things that led to my current body of work would be I found a washer on the ground and it was so cool. But I, to, to make it into a piece of jewelry, I was gonna have to fabricate. And at the time I did nothing but lost wax casting. And it sat on top of my jewelry bench for a year and then I was like, you know, it's slow part of the year. I'm gonna make something with that. I made two pieces with found washers that I found, and then that was it. I complete, ca completely stopped casting and started doing all fabricating with the uh, idea around the found pieces. And now I still do some of that, but the shapes and the designs have kind of morphed over the years, and I don't do all found. I do some without found pieces. I want it to be a part of celebration, probably because I was missing kind of like a family, a, like a, what is that, group of peers. Because I moved from North Carolina, I was there for 13 years, and I was in a guild, an art guild, so that's like art, your art family. And then I moved to Colorado. And since I moved to Colorado and I live in the suburbs, I've been kind of in between not really having some roots. I am the kind of person that I'm very emotional and um, I don't know, I just feel like when people believe in you, you can do more. And you get that feeling here, you get, that's what you get here. You, I, I call it, it's like art camp, but it's also like um, graduate school. And then, of course, the customers, the clients here are part like family, too. So you get it from both sides here. Well, I have done a lot of shows and been in galleries, but you really do get something different here at this show. You don't get that, oh, she's right there making jewelry or she just finished this. And people come back multiple times, and so they see kind of the process over weeks. So it's really neat, it's different.